everyone, welcome back to El Gato Nepalibato for those who are ready for the words in the Spanish version. So, this is the very, very first English video version, English version video, that I made for this channel. And I want to explain first than anything why the name El Gato Nepalibato. Well, El Gato means the cat, and Nepalibato. It refers to a person who is a daydream and doesn't realize about the reality. That's why our name in Spanish. Second, since you already realized the English is not my mother tongue, so I apologize if sometimes I don't pronounce the words as it should be or sometimes I do like this, like I'm looking the words in English in my mind, so it's like a few seconds, it's like, uh, yeah, that, okay? I apologize for that. And what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since this is the very first English version of the videos that I make, I want to introduce you. My name is Karis, and I'm your host, and I want to make a little intro introduce. I think like that. Yeah, I want to talk to you a little bit about this channel. Uh, so here we talk about books. Of course, these these versions are, are going to be about English books that you can find in English versions, of course, in your language. I'm repeating too much to myself, right? Anyway, so this channel is to talk about books. And I give you my opinions, my suggestions, my comments, and blah 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 about these readings that I do. And this is a very special occasion because the person who finally convinced me to make these videos in this language, uh, it's a very special and beloved person for me. I think I said it well. And that's why this is a very, very special occasion. And for that, you have to give me the chance to allow me to change myself. Hi. Thanks a lot for staying with me. As you already see, I changed my outfit. This is a, a, a traditional Indian dress. I have the opportunity to get it when I have the chance to go to India, it's a beautiful place, you should go there, especially to Taj Mahal and Kerala. But that's another thing, blah, blah, blah. So, as you already noticed, and if you haven't noticed, I will tell you, uh, the music, the music of this video uh, also changed. At the beginning, we were listening some jazz, and now we are listening some waltz. Why all this thing? Why the dress? Why the music? Why everything? Well, that's for two reasons. The first one, it all becomes to be aligned with this book that I'm going to tell you about. And the second one is because the person who finally pushed me to do these English videos, it's a very special and beloved person for me, and he probably will recognize the music or the dress and everything, and it's a way, it's a way for me to tell you thank you, thank you for all your support. So, putting that on the back, we are going to talk a book that I love. I have read it already several times, and each time I can imagine myself in Venice, you know, year 1752, with the beautiful channels, beautiful city, uh, with these beautiful parties and the carnival, of course. Don't forget the carnival, the Venice carnival. So I can imagine dancing with a mysterious man that it can be my one night romance or it can be the love of my life with these beautiful and colorful dresses, you know. All these things reminds me to this book. We are talking about the devil. This one, of course, is the Spanish version because I live in Mexico. Anyway, this one is the Spanish version, but I've already investigated a little bit, and of course you can find the English version. 
The author is Miriam Milan. Uh, she's a very curious writer because I cannot find any of her books in any library or any market or nothing like that. I could only find her books online and without want to make any marketing to this page, I found this on Amazon. So, The Devil, what it's about? As I told you before, we are in Venice, year 1752. Imagine that, that city, that beautiful city. And imagine that you are Gianna D'Angelo. She is our main character in this book. She is a 16 years old lady, she is orphaned and she has a numerous family and they are extremely poor. So what can she do to solve this situation? They need food, they need clothes, they need a big house and a house because they live in a little one, you know. Uh, so what does she do? Well, she became a prostitute. Some of the family understand her, understand her, but some of others no. So they deny her. It's like, how could you do this to our family? You are the shame of our family. Anyway, so she became a prostitute, but slowly she she escaped from prostitute to a courtesan. A uh, courtesan is a lady that, of course, she sells her body for money, but not to anyone. She do these kind of things only with powerful and rich men, government, very high positions of the police, um, politicians or politics, politicians I think you say, right? So she became a courtesan and not any courtesan, she became the most cautious courtesan. Everybody wants her. She, is, she, she became studied, now she knows how to write, how to read, how to cook, she has a luxury life, uh, all her lovers or clients, as you want to see it, gives her very expensive gifts and all these things. So that kind of, of life now is the one that she is now having. So if you already tell me that this carries, why should I read this book? Well, it's not only like that. It's not that I became from prostitute to courtesan, I have a happy life, I can maintain my family and that's all. No, that, that wouldn't be attractive for anyone, I think. You have romance and love in this book. But not only that, it's not the pink novel that we are used to it. No, 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 no. This maybe doesn't have a happy, happy ending, you know? I don't know why I have, I love that, those stories with, love stories with not a happy, happy ending. I love that kind of stories. So this is more or less like that. You have uh, all these things that I mentioned before, but you have also murders. You have a serial killer in Venice. Okay, what's the connection of our main character, Gianna D'Angelo, with this serial killer? What, what makes them like united, you know, like what's that connection? What what's does they have a special for her? And who could be this serial killer because she suspects, she thinks that one of her clients could be the killer, but who could be the killer? All of these handsome men that are clients of Gianna could be the killer. All of them has the reasons, all of them have the, the tools, the money, the power, and the reasons, as I told you before, to become a serial killer. So, who could be? And how is going to be, how, how this story is going to end? You know, I say too much, you know, right? <laughs> so, all of this, you will find it here. You will find mystery, you will find romance, you will find murders, you will find intrigue and kind of police stocks, stuff in this book. So if you love all of this and you could put it all of them together, you will have this. And not only that, you will, you will have a very, very Venice uh, of that time, you will have a very a specific description of Venice of that time. You, 
if you are like me, you you would like to imagine it, to imagine all these scenes and all these things. Suddenly, you will find reading this book and listening to this music. Probably, you will find that you are imagining the scenes of this book. It's a very very good book. I I cannot say more. It's I'm very excited, and the English words doesn't come to my mind, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. Anyway, you should try this. As I told you before, you can find it online. Uh, it could be the page that I told you before. It could be any other page. Uh, I'm sure you will find it. And if you have the chance, buy it. This version, it's a print from 2016, as I told you. But it's, it's a jewel here. It's very, very nice. And I think this would be more interesting for ladies and girls like me yeah of course we we are romantics we cannot avoid that so that's all for this video i hope you enjoy it uh, please subscribe share recommend with your family and friends if you like it put the like on and yeah support this kind of projects because i think it's not easy to put in front of a camera i mean i, I probably there's people that doesn't have any issue with that but for people who is shy and introvert like me it's not easy to put in front of a camera and speak and it's more difficult if you want to speak in another language that is not your mother tongue so this this project my project and all these kind of projects who wants to support uh, books and are speaking in another language and blah 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 we have to support that kind of projects because we are out of culture at least here in Mexico I don't know maybe in other countries they do read a lot but at least here in Mexico people doesn't read too often so support of this kind of projects and another thing I'm forgetting if you like the music that you're listening in this video or in the past videos or in future videos don't don't hesitate you can ask him from me I can give you the artist or I can give you the title song the song title or I can share it to you directly okay all of this music from this video it's what I hope you like it and what else what else suggestions opinions and all, all the things you you think that I can do to improve the videos to improve my English to recommendations of books that maybe you want me to tell about in these videos please don't hesitate put it in the comments below all of them has to be positive critics please and I hope you like it okay see you next one